we've gone out and shown this on video. You can go to the middle of a, you know, the, the highway in the middle of the woods with some little 200 square foot open area of the sun, dig it up, plant tomatoes, and get more tomatoes than you can ever even harvest. This is nature's bounty. Ron Finley has had arrest warrants issued for him out in L.A. trying to get this going. And the studies show you get young people growing things or you get young people even with a fish tank or a dog to take care of, but especially plants. We release hormones, it's been shown, that calm us when we're out in the garden with the bees and the sunflowers and the, and the watermelons and just everything. It's so much fun to do this. It's a normal human agrarian activity. And there's the Ron Finley Project. Here I was saying copy Johnny Appleseed, and then Nico a few months ago said, have you heard about this guy in the LA Times and places who they've tried to arrest and fine and fee because he dares to go into these, you know, government lots with weeds everywhere and plant stuff and then other people get involved and they start planting and then they start demanding hey we want part of this city park that nobody uses for a city city uh garden and next they're going to want chickens in their backyards next they're going to want to be independent humans see the globalists don't want us to be self-sufficient this is the essence of the plantation the essence of the reservation is you can't be self-sufficient and that's the plan ronfinley.com very very uh, crowdrise.com ronfinley hq very exciting what ron's doing i mean this guy is just over the top with the success he's had but also the persecution to show you we're not in kansas anymore folks when they they said have victory gardens in world war ii now they come after you. Ron, thank you for sitting there during that long babbling introduction, but just something like you're doing is so amazing, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here, Alex. I, I appreciate it. And what, you, what you're saying is so correct, man. It's, it's so on point. It's so, I mean, it's basically, you know, it's, it's like slavery, man, for all of us, you know, because, um, you know, they control the food. They control you. Uh, um, and we're trying to redesign that system. It's a total revolution. If everybody started planting gardens in their areas and learned what you could do with the rooftops, you, well, you're the expert. Tell us about this revolution. What got you started? And, oh, see, everybody says that, Alex, that I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert. I, I'm a fashion designer. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just some guy that decided to put a, a carrot, you know, in the ground, and, and all hell break, broke But you are an expert by taking action. I mean, well, I mean, that's yeah. what makes you an expert is that you've actually done it. I mean, come on. <laughs> but I mean, we're all experts. Alex, we're all experts. You're this right. is in all of us. This is in all of us, man. It's, it's, it is that. It's just doing something. And, and like you said about your children, man, if you put them out there, they, they're learning a, a, a life skill. They're not, this is not frivolous. You know, this is something that they can take with them and we'll take with them the rest of their life. But we have these, these areas that I call them food prisons. They call them food deserts that these kids have no skin in the game. Their whole life has been predestined for them. They don't, they don't have any kind of, um, they don't, they don't even dream, man. It's, it's, it's sad talking to some of these kids and they don't know. They they already are born with barcodes on the back of their necks. I want to talk about you. We're going to break in a moment. But I want to come back and give you the floor. Talk about, though, your awakening, how this started, and then how you got attacked. And from what I've seen, that backfired and made it even bigger. Okay. Uh, we're going to break in about a minute, but, I mean, how did this get started? Uh, well, basically, I remember going to the store, and there was um, – a t I, you know, I picked up t a tomato and it says maybe uh, coated with shellac. And I was like, wow, shellac on my tomato? Isn't that what we put on wood in wood shop when I was in, you know, grade school? And I was, and, and it just, and you just start looking and you just open your eyes one day and you're like, wow, you know, this is, and you go to other cities, you go to other places and you realize that all this is by design, this bad food. These the the and like you talk the medical industrial complex the prison industrial complex the military industrial complex and you realize like wow these kids are on a, a track to go absolutely nowhere but 
you know, too Amazing. So it all started with a tomato with shellac that will give you kidney failure in your face. <laughs> Ron Finley, ronfinley.com. We're going to come back and talk about your story. It's simply incredible. Then we're going to get into how folks can get involved and stop these food prisons. This is true revolution, peaceful revolution, the magic of plants. The show is for the whole hour, so at about 40 after, I'm going to give the number out. We're going to take some calls about your stories of city gardening or articles you want to talk about where people get in trouble for gardening in their front yard or their backyard. This is a real attempt to intimidate people. But if we start doing this, it can circumvent the Monsanto tyranny, all of it. Remember, they just cut the fluoride in the water in half this week. We're having major victories. McDonald's is starting to take the GMO out. We're having victories with our actions. And plants, seeds are so magic that you can plant a little seed and a whole mustard tree grows. You can have mustard for 20 years from it. Or you can plant a seed and a pecan tree grows or an apple tree uh, or strawberries. I mean, this is, this is nanotech, God's nanotech. I'm going to shut up because this is a short segment, long segment coming up with Ron Finley, ronfinley.com. I know you don't like talking about yourself during the break. You're like, I don't want to brag about myself. Talk about your story, what you've done in L.A., the thousands you've inspired, but also the persecution you went through. So you see this tomato with shellac. That begins the wheels going. Tell people your story. Well, I mean, it was the tomato with shellac, Alex, but it was also, I mean, that was just like almost the tipping point or the, you know, the, the straw. Uh, and you, you just look around and all of a sudden you realize that all you see is asphalt and concrete. And my whole thing, like you were saying, I, want, I don't want my food loco. I want my food hyper loco. You know, why in this desert that we live in in California, why are we watering grass? when you can use the less water and water and, and, and grow food, um, which is what we need here. And um, why aren't yards full of all this beautiful yards food? Full all this beautiful food. Right. Exactly. Well, I mean, and what happened, what happened with my story, you know, after I got persecuted, um, you know, had to go to court the first time I decided years later, and I thought they forgot about it and I did it again. And so um, basically got thrown under the bus again. And um, tell folks uh, what you did, though. I mean, it's, it's amazing where you planted well, what they did. The plant there. We have these these um, in front of the they're called parkways. It's like right before you get to the street, that strip of land, you know, strip of grass. Yeah. Like in these pictures, I'm, I'm standing in the street. So I decided to, to just remove my grass. By, I sheet mulched it with cardboard, a lot of it, and I planted food. But first, Alex, it started only for beautification of my of my block, of my neighborhood. I mean, I, I wanted to be kissed by hummingbirds every day. I wanted to see I butterflies. I, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to smell lavender and jasmine and, and rosemary. So that's where, that's where it started. Um, and so then I started, and then it came down again. Long, st long story short, uh, I took 150 feet. Uh, by 10, by about well, nine, 10 feet. And I made a food for us um, that I wanted to feed my, I wanted my neighbors basically to see, look, you can design your own life and you can start here. I use it as a canvas. Like I use the soil, Alex, that that's, that's my, that's, this is my street art. This is my graffiti. And that's how I treat it. But also it beautifies, uh, it purifies. And it's all, you're cleaning the air, you're bringing in pollinators, you're bringing in all kinds of insects. And you're feeding people, but also the the it's 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 multi layered because people pass by and like you were saying they see these flowers they see this it's color therapy Alex you know it people ups the value these, of the neighborhood too exactly exactly but it, in it and in that it changes people's perspective it changes their mind people are smiling I mean um, and and you're having conversations that you would never have had. You know, just because well, you're you also a really good gardener. I've looked at photos in the news about you and your own site. You've got a green thumb. <laughs> I got green hands, Alex. <laughs> 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 not, not just my thumbs, you know, but I, I want people, I put it on the street because I want people to realize you can do this. You know, the, treat this like your canvas. And people like ask me, well, where do you start? I'm like at the beginning. And they're like, where's that? I said, wherever you start. When you get a canvas, you decide where you're going to put that first brush. Stroke. It could start was... with a box plant with some peppers and tomatoes in your window. And Come that on. one I, tomato I, plant I, and pepper plant is going to have so much food. You're going to, I mean, it's just incredible. Every week, they're, look, we have no culture. They've taken our culture. The most human culture is agrarian. 
And you are a revolutionary taking back our culture. I want to get your take on that. Ron Finley, a true revolutionary, ronfinley.com, an example to everybody. Straight ahead on the other side, and we'll open the phones up. But, I mean, they, they had arrest warrants out. They find him. They came after him. But it blew up in their face, and now they've had to capitulate. It's a victory story.